All right, welcome. So today what I'm going to attempt to do is use my auto clicker to start a macro in order for me to clear out all these admin quests and guild quests. Cause I know if we do it manually like this, it would take us forever. And same thing goes for guild quest as well. So that's probably not the best way for me to get this done. Um, let me go ahead and try to do it by adding some buttons. So I'll be on admin quest for now and let me refresh. It looks like I got about 102 and I only have 11 on guild quest. So 101. Let me go ahead and add a few buttons. One, two, three. Would that work? No, I may need to do just two buttons. So I will have maybe have to do... No, I do need more than one, two, oops, three. It looks like I have nine, so I will need four. five and then I think best way for me to go about it is six on this here seven next to it eight oops nine So that would allow me to clear 9. And then let me go ahead and do 10 here. Which would actually do what? And then I will do 11 here. So I'm just testing. And if it does work, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and explain afterwards what I did. Uh, so I will do one second for each one and hopefully we don't have lag on the phone and that should work I think I'm just maybe I wonder if there's some sort of a setting that I can make it one second default that would probably be even better so any of you guys who use this and find default settings or settings that you can set it for one second let me know so I can learn from you as well. So here I'm going around doing one second of pop. And biggest reason why I do that is because with milliseconds, the phone itself, I don't think it's capable of going fast enough to... So it, it will probably uh, freak out. But okay, so here we go. I have nine admin quests. So I have nine buttons on my right side to go. Eleventh button is to reset. Uh, so tenth one needs to go ahead and say one second as well. So it can refresh. Eleven will also say one second. And it may not work here. Okay, so we do that. And then here we go. Good luck to us. So ideally what it should do is it should go from button 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and clear out all these quests. And then on the 10th one it should go ahead and press the refresh button. 11 should go ahead and give me OK and they should restart every single time. And on my configuration it says run indefinitely but let's go ahead and just... Well, I guess it wouldn't matter since... Uh, actually, it would matter. So, let's go... Because I think if you do it more than what you have, it may actually end up purchasing. Um, you know how you can actually jam these additional quests. So, it's possible that you might end up jamming some of them. So, yeah, number of cycle is, is probably important. Okay, so we got that. And then we'll go ahead and save... And let me go ahead and try 
to go ahead and press. Here we go. Oh, okay. So what's happened there is because we ran out of the quests on the bottom. So technically five rows would not work. It would actually have to be all of them on one. Hmm, interesting. So it would actually have to be, I don't know if you can actually lap buttons like this. So I'm going to go ahead and try again. I've lapped it all. And then we're going to go ahead and try again on all on one button. Uh, nine different ones and see if that works. And it does look like it's working and I guess so you can have buttons on top of other. Now the biggest problem with this one here, um, for me initially I thought you cannot have button on top of another but I guess it really doesn't treat another button like a placeholder of some sort. So yes basically we would have to go 9 whatever you got on there plus to 10 and 11 and then also make sure you set uh, the end mark or the end of the cycle so for me it would go 101 times and it would stop now I know since I stopped it may actually go over so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and what I'm going to do is I know this is working right so I will go ahead and name this configuration uh, I will name it into I will call it, uh, what do you call this, uh, quest clear? Go admin clear. So that way I kind of know that quest is such a generic term. So I will call it admin clear. Okay. And then I won't do 100 times. Let's do like 50 at a time. And then we'll go ahead and save that. So I move this. I have 95 is what I have, right? So with this, I'm going to go ahead and play it 95 times. But one thing I want to do when I clear these out is if we look here, we get EXP out of these. And for an account that like this, it's not level 60. So what I'm going to do is... Before I do any of that, I'm going to clear out or I'm going to put on experience EXP booster if I have them. Ugh. Okay, I don't have it, but it's 25% EXP for the next 24 hours. So I will probably end up using this plus because I need as much EXP as I, as I can get. And then it was what 94 times so I'm probably going to go ahead and set this at 94 times for myself done okay and then I'll go ahead and play and that should be it so here we go so it should go it, it's a slow process but it's an automatic process so you don't really have to do it manually Think about sitting there doing it for thousands and thousands of these. I know a lot of people out there with 10,000 quest or quests. So that way uh, it should help them out. It just means that you're going to have to have the phone out for a while. and But at least you get it cleared out. So. Okay, so I got a little update. I was doing um, running through all these scrolls. And... So last one 
Remember I mentioned about number of cycle being really important because it may start jamming on your um, tries or quests. So what happens is if you actually run out at the end, it'll click on buy and use, but the confirm button is not on the same spot, nor do we have the 12th um, button press. So basically it will just be stuck here and it won't go through. So as far as number of cycles, really not important. It will stop after once you run out of all the quests or scrolls that you have saved up. So again, I'll retract back. As far as the number of cycles being important, it really isn't. So, I hope this update helps a little bit. Thanks. I hope this part of the macro, I know it, I fumbled through it a bit. But I was doing it for the first time as well. Because I wanted to experience what it's like for everybody else as well. So, yep. Yeah, um, good luck with that. And then hope uh, it helped some of you guys. Thanks. Bye.